Stroke is one of the leading causes of death in the United States, but there are different types of stroke. We're here with Dr. Baselrod to talk about that. One of the types is known as bleeding stroke. Can you tell us about it? There are two types of strokes, uh, hemorrhagic strokes and ischemic strokes. Hemorrhagic strokes are less common, in fact around 15% of all strokes are hemorrhagic. Hemorrhagic stroke uh, uh, is usually a bleeding that happens inside the brain or around the brain, between the brain and the covering tissues uh, uh, around it. Uh, there are two types of uh, hemorrhagic strokes. We call the intracerebral hemorrhage and the subarachnoid hemorrhage. Intracerebral hemorrhage happens when a vessel inside the brain leaks blood uh, into surrounding brain tissue. Uh, this is the more common form of hemorrhagic strokes and usually uh, caused by high blood pressure and uh, aging vessels. Uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage is commonly caused by uh, aneurysms uh, of the brain and usually it's a bleeding uh, between the brain and its covering tissues. Uh, other causes of subarachnoid hemorrhage include blood thinners, uh, bleeding disorders, and uh, head injury. What are some of the symptoms of this type of stroke? The symptoms of uh, hemorrhagic strokes are uh, similar to ischemic stroke symptoms. Uh, but in addition, patients may experience sudden onset headache. That could be the worst headache the patient has ever had in case it is, uh, the, the, the hemorrhage is due to subarachnoid hemorrhage. Uh, and this is what is commonly called as thunderclap headache. Other uh, symptoms include nausea, vomiting, uh, confusion, uh, uh, loss of consciousness, seizures, neck stiffness, neck pain. What kind of treatment is involved? The treatment of uh, hemorrhagic stroke uh, varies according to the location, the cause of the hemorrhage, um, and the size of the bleed.